over the last few years, and in fact, to be honest, I can't remember whether it's four or five or how many years it, it's been. I'm sure someone will tell me. Our childhood community have been challenging you to take lots of different pictures based on different techniques, concepts, themes, or even everyday objects. We've asked you to go outside your comfort zone, go out of the box and do something or take a photo that you would not normally take that's not normally the type of photography that you take. And in doing so, you and all of us have really got a much broader depth and breadth to our photography and taking images that just we wouldn't normally ever consider. And I think that's possibly one of the things that's going to help you develop your photography and improve your craft. Round three of the fall winter 2022 challenge is no different because in this round of the challenge, we're asking you to take a photo that includes something red. Yeah, red, that's all. It's all we're asking for. As long as your image has got something red in it, then you qualify for the criteria of the challenge you've done. You've got your picture. So in essence, you could actually just go and take a picture of something that's got some red in it, or you could add a piece of red into your image, like take a shot with this in the background, this just this rubber band, this red band, and that would be good enough, and then you've satisfied the criteria of the challenge. But of course, you all just like me, and you're a bit different to that, and that's not going to be good enough for you, because you all want to incorporate your red or the redness in your image into the main body of your image you want to make a feature of it and that's what i would do i'm trying to find a way that i can bring out the red in my image and i'm sure you'll do the same and there's lots and lots and lots of different things that you can take everywhere around us that's red even though it's you might think oh well what could possibly be red but when you start thinking about it there's so many things outside for instance car tail lights so at night car tail lights are bright red aren't they so you could do something like that or flowers are red in in the uk in particular we have buses we have phone boxes we have mailboxes all those sorts of easy peasy things are red but there's so many many more things that are red that you could either do outside the house or in the house and especially now it's coming leading up to christmas they you've got red lights for christmas and there's also red red leaves of the tree still despite in the uk us having all these big storms that are blowing all the leaves off the trees recently and what i actually did just recently was had a google and i had a look at all of the things that are red and here's a quite a, a list of them on the screen now you can see all the different things that i found that are they've got red in them that's really simple that you can find easily if you stuck the things oh what's got red in so yeah, that's the, the main theme of round three of the fall winter 2023 challenge is red. So as long as you've got something red in your picture, then you've satisfied the criteria. But round three is a bit different this time in, the, as, in as much as the way we're judging and scoring and uh, etc. So normally what we do is we give you a hashtag to use. You take your photo within the dates of the challenge and you post your one image no carousels, just one image, uh, we're using the hashtag into uh, the challenge. And each of those pictures gets seen by all of the other participants within the challenge community. And if you're lucky, we all comment and like and uh, and mention you in, in our posts, etc. And, and occasionally um, you will get a, a story as well. So there's lots of things that go on around that hashtag and the way we operate. But like I said, this is slightly different because what we're going to try and do in this round, and because it's our group round, we can do it. It's only open to people that would, are within our challenge groups. We're doing a blind challenge. What that means is you, you're you going to take your photo, which includes something red, and you might want to share it within your group and sort of chat among yourselves, maybe get some constructive feedback from the rest of your group, what they think, how what it is, how it, how it, you could improve it, all those sorts of things. And at the end of the challenge period, you, you as a group will select your best six pictures and they will get put forward to the, for the group vote. And what that means is none of us judges will know where the images have come from, which group, because you won't have posted those images up to this point. So they're just kept on your, on your camera, your phone or your computer. You won't have actually submitted those to social media so we won't have had an idea no idea that those pictures exist but you and your groups might well know 
Once the judge is complete, what we'll then do is we'll share a hashtag. We'll encourage you to add those photos to the hashtag and we'll have a, a big publicity about it, the, the pictures that submitted and the hashtag we use. And we'll encourage everybody to go on those images and like and comment and all the usual things you get, you gain from social media. So that's kind of how this challenge is going to work. That's how we're trying to get over the line with this one to try to make it a little bit more different, something different for us as judges, something different for us as a community, just to see how this works. It's worth trying new things, breaking the boundaries and seeing what works and what doesn't work. If it, uh, We think it's going to be a good, a good option and hopefully it would take out any possibility of any influence from the judging and hopefully we'll get a, a even fairer judging process not that i don't not that i don't think it's fair because i think it is um good luck very good luck with your challenge photo when it comes around to it there'll be links in the description below and obviously you'll get from your group leaders when the challenge starts or when it ends but very very good luck with your challenge photo very good luck with finding something that's red if you watch these sort of challenge videos that i create and you're not a subscriber then I think it might be helpful. It might be worth subscribing to my challenge channel. Might be worth subscribing to my channel because that would be that might be helpful for you in the future, so you don't miss any of these videos. Uh, obviously, if you like this video, if you think this is helpful and useful to you, then why not give it a like? Cause that would be pretty, pretty cool for me, at least. And um, thank you very much indeed for watching. Best of luck with your photo, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.